Hello, I'm Mike Seawalk, former head coach of Georgia Southern. I've run the triple option for a little over 20 years. It's a scheme that I believe gives the opportunity to move the ball up and down the field against um, superior talent sometimes, but it's also good to have good talent, I can tell you that much. Uh, part of our offense has been the triple option for a mainstay. It's the, it's the mothership of all the entire playbook. And what happens to you, you have base rules, and some of your base rules, they never change. you got to play side wide receiver, play side A back, play side tackle, play side guard, center, backside guard, backside tackle, backside A back, and then you have the backside wide receiver. And then there you have your fullback, which we call B back, and you have your quarterback. Play side wide receivers rule on arc scheme. You got two schemes you can run: arc scheme and load scheme. On an arc scheme wide receiver, his rule is the same no matter what. He has the nearest, deepest back. He blocks near deep back on both schemes. The play side slot and the play side tackle to the five man count. They'll go ahead and run a load scheme, which means they got play side linebacker to run support. The play side a back and arc scheme. He always blocks run support. Play side tackle, his rule is play side linebacker. He's got base, he's got play side linebacker, which means if he's covered, he's base and he goes two I two three, play side linebacker. Center to backside guard scoop. Backside A back's got pitch route. Backside receiver has cross field technique. He's always setting up the backside post or backside streak on those backs blocking schemes. Fullback runs the track. Quarterback runs the offense. Over here on the load scheme or five scheme, play side guard's rule is based ace. If he's covered, he's basing. If he's uncovered, he's acing. The center's rule is ace to scoop. If he's covered, he's acing. If he's uncovered, he's scooping. Backside guard and backside tackle, they just go ahead and scoop. Big part of our offense. Backside A back then, he has a pitch route. Backside wide receiver, he still has a cross field technique. Backside B back, he's going to go ahead and run his track. The quarterback, he's going to go ahead and run the option. In that earlier, I talked about a six-man side and a five-man side. I'm going to draw it up again for you. And I'll, again, I'll draw just a base 50 defense. Cover three. Again, our wide receivers, I like to have them let's use the ball in the middle of the field so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't really take into, but I'd like to have those wide receivers line up on the, out there on the numbers. This is the six-man side, so you'd have to run an arc scheme over here. This is the five-man side, which you can run a load scheme or a five scheme, which uh, some people refer to it in option term. They run a five scheme over here. If I did it, my rules have stayed the same for forever, so it doesn't really change for our players. They go up there, we don't block defenses, we just block the formation that you see, the defense that you see at hand. If you've got a six-man side and you run an arc scheme, the wide receiver blocks the near deep back. He'll always be the nearest deepest back, cutting from the sideline in. In this case right here, the nearest deepest back would be the corner. Again, this is the arc scheme to the six-man side. If we ran to run the ball, if we wanted to go to the left-hand side of this formation, we would run a load scheme or a five scheme. 